It's your boy Adam Solar here at the bike shop. Wanted to show you guys Juiced Scrambler Super 73 S1 G SG1 versus the uh, Camp Scrambler from Juice Bikes. Very similar style. Um, it's almost a preference on what you like the look of. A little more dirt bike vibe with the 73 than the Scrambler. Um, very cool looking headlight on the uh, Super 73 there from Lithium Cycles. Um, you know, some just quick first impressions. A um, little bit bigger motor and higher voltage on the Juiced should be giving us a little more giddy up and go. I'll do a uh, comparison ride one to the other off the bat for you to let you guys really know for sure. A uh, little bit bigger uh, seat height and ride step over height on the Juice versus the uh, Lithium. A uh, little better on uh, gearing here too. We got a, a cassette in the back so you can actually get you a thing. We got a seven speed probably um, from Juice where the uh, Super 73 is just a single. Um, but yeah, overall, Nice, easy to read displays on both of them. Uh, thumb throttle on the lithium versus a twist grip throttle on the juiced. Um, front suspension is a nice touch on the juice bike where on the uh, lithium over here, it's a sort of strange triple tree fork kind of thing. Um, but I, I imagine it will hold up. Uh, but yeah, let's get out there, get you guys for a ride along. Uh, that's where you can really see what you think. All right, so here we go. First test ride. Oh yeah, she got some kick. Ooh. Little rattle from that chain guard. It might be a quick adjustment I can do. some pedal assist so there's high pedal assist one gear another noticeable thing got the uh, wishbone kind of kickstand there instead of a single side it's a good looking bike I'll give them that Yeah, we might be able to just tighten that chain guard up a little, get it to quiet down. I wonder if the brake lights work. Yeah, but not too much going on there. A little bit. I'll note the uh, Juiced has a nice front light, but the rear light, also a very nice light, but it's a uh, battery powered. you got to hit the switch on. Okay, here's jumping back to the Juiced. Yeah, just totally different feel sitting on this thing versus that one. Feels like a much bigger bike. Um, you know, it's almost like the old little dirt bike culture is what that lithium bike is. Seven fifty watt versus five hundred watt on paper, at least. They they feel pretty close. Higher voltage, fifty two versus forty eight, probably is giving that one a little bit more punch. Um, they're both really cool bikes. Um, I think we might be able to be a dealer for seventy three. Juiced has gone to a consumer only direct model. Um, is what it is. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I follow a lot of. I wish my phone would shut up. Uh, I follow a lot of. Uh, I think that 
I can't think of the guy's name, Tor or Tora maybe, that found a juice. He does a lot of videos showing going to China, getting it built firsthand, what it's what it's taken. Seems to take a lot of pride in his product. Don't know as much about the lithium guys. Um, they seem like they're on the celebrity route. I mean, you know, Will Smith and Post Malone with a 24 karat gold one and uh, that kind of stuff. But I'm sure they got a nice manufacturing team as well. Uh, very, very cool bikes. There's a retro glide when we made the video. Um, and yeah, really, all these bikes are right around the same price point. You know, there, there's your $2,000 uh, cruiser e bike versus a $2,000 juice scrambler. Uh, if you actually want to pedal this thing and enjoy it as a bicycle, that's what you want. When you get to one of these, yeah, you can pedal it, but it's just not the same. Not the same deal pedaling one of these, especially on the juice feels a little bow legged. The crank stroke on this one feels really short on the Super 73. Um, I will say though, this is a speed pedelec, so that throttle cuts out at 20, but if you're pedaling, it'll take you up to 28, and that thing cooks. I've, I made a uh, sandwich run maybe two weeks ago, and there was a nice day on this thing, and uh, I was blown away by how much power it had with the high pedal assist and going 28. Um, so that there is an advantage. I even think they have a you know, off-road hack that you can change the controller so you can go 28 by throttle. There's also a higher-end model of this. It's the, like, uh, I can't even think of what it's called, but uh, with just crazier stats. Uh, this thing they got a couple different versions of. I think this is their, their flagship one. Uh, but anyway, both very cool bikes. And... Uh, yeah, you can come ride the juice here at the shop as long as I still have it. This is a customer's that we just uh, assembled for them. Uh, but yeah, if we get enough requests, we'll bring them in and be a dealer. Got Tubby help me shoot a little video here. So plus button throws our light on. <laughs> so yeah, I get to cramp, camp scrambling out. This, this thing's fun. Um, if I can comparison, hop on the lithium. Yeah, definitely feels feels more rigid and smaller when you get on it. Um, definitely feel like you know if you're thinking about for your kids or something, that's gonna be a little bigger, a little more wild. This may be a little better fit. Yeah, so this one's really fun. Uh, just a lot more rigid and a lot smaller feeling than the juice. Um, I don't know if I gotta lead the brakes too, or just needs a little bit of tapping. Um, yeah, single speed. My pick's the Juice Scrambler over the Lithium, but um, this still got a lot of merit for what it is, and it's aesthetic, and still a great bike, I think. Um, so yeah, I uh, recommend both. Adam Solar, thanks for the video. Adjust the brake levers a little. Uh, tighten that chain guard up. It sounds a little nicer now. Yeah, I think that's just chain bounce within the guard from me hammering on it. Yeah, it's, it's a cool bike, man. I like this. I like this one too. Maybe I'm partial because the juice is actually mine. Uh, where this is a customer's, but I would, I would be a lithium dealer. This is a, this is a fun little buggy. Curious how it holds up over time on both of them. But yeah, for like a little camp run around deal or 
even your commuter. Oh, look at that in that 73 in the frame dropout. It's a nice touch. Um, you know, in case, I think it was uh, Casey running around New York on this thing, and millions of people saw him riding it too. Forgot to mention him on the celebrity side of things. Oh, that's the other thing, Goofy. They do motorcycle style with the brakes reversed. I'm used to right is rear, left is front. They got them flipped on the Super 73. You can also get a, a longer seat here. I think the, uh, the guy who owns this actually does have the longer seat. But yeah, overall, she's cool. There's the juiced. Hope you guys enjoyed the review, and if you would be so kind as to use my affiliate code below for the juice bikes if you decide to purchase one, uh, I'll get a little 3% kickback, and then you guys can uh, get a free hat from Adam Solar Rods delivered to you. Just uh, reach out to me, and I'll send you one if you use my affiliate link. And uh, if you want a lithium, reach out to me as well, uh, at Adam Solar, and we'll, uh, we'll just become a dealer, ideally, and get you some those Super 73s jamming.